to start this off, let me just get the sensor, the software, and their shapes out of the way, as I think these are either a tie for both or subject to user preference. Anyways, if it matters to you guys, the ML602 has more of a palm rest versus that of the Eagle One. Their width and length difference isn't that much, but the palm rests do actually make a difference on comfort for either a large hand or a small hand. Round one, switches. I like the switches used on both, but the Eagle One has lesser pre-travel on the side button, so Eagle One would win this round. For round two, stock feet. Eagle One's feet are scratchy due to sharp edges. The ML602 has slanted edges, which makes for a much smoother glide. So this round goes to the ML602. For round three, button placement. The Eagle One, being smaller, has more accessible side buttons, easily reachable by thumbs compared to that of the ML602. So Eagle One would win this round. Round four, features. So the Thunder Robot has a Bluetooth button which allows you to switch from Bluetooth devices in a press of a button. So that matters to some, I think. But what matters to me is my segue. Access my referral link to Muso Gaming Chair's website and consider upgrading your office or gaming station with an affordable masterpiece of a throne. Anyways. Round 5, weight. Eagle 1 is 55 grams, ML602 is 63 grams, but lighter does not always mean better. Let me explain. For some reason, I prefer the weight on the ML602 more due to its better control, stopping power, and less jitters, and less over flicking. Yes, that's what 8 grams weight difference does. Again, it's subject to user preference, so round 5, I would say, is another tie. Overall, they are on par with each other, but uh, I just prefer using the ML602 more than the Eagle one. For some reason, I just aim better on this mouse. Anyways, don't subscribe. Bye.